Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I don't know how come I didn't see them, but I have a couple of prayer requests in our comment section that I never saw four days ago. Okay, I want to, um, first I'm going to read uh, Melanie's. Uh, I had been talking about prayer closets, I think, in this particular one. I must have, because she says, I use a tallet cloth. That's um, like the Jewish uh, shawl that they put over their head to pray. Okay, it's called a tallet, tallet, some say. Okay, sanctified and set apart. I go to my knees, cover my head. I go to my secret, quiet place with the Lord. I know for some it may not be necessary. For me, it is. I've been in fear so long, especially with my son. He, he had been abusing me so long. Jasper, sorry, stop licking my wheels. Stop. Yeah, don't gr give me that grin. Go play with your toys. Stop licking the wheels. Stop. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. He wants to lick and eat the weirdest things. Buddy was like that too. Okay. So she said um, her son, um, she'd been in fear so long, especially with her son. He had been abusing her for so long. She says, I finally left, and now my right eye is mostly blind. My weakness and sadness are overwhelming. Although I talk to Jesus and Father all day, it's most frightening. I drove over treacherous mountains four hours with one good eye to escape. I almost had a breakdown, but beneath the cloth I am alone with him, beneath his wings and safe. May I ask for prayer from sisters here, please. Our sisters and brothers will all pray for you, Melanie. Those who are prayer warriors, I'm sure everybody could say a prayer, right? That God will send a holy angel to touch my eye, heal it, so I can see well enough to drive again. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you for any prayer is greatly appreciated. Thank you and God bless. Melody. It is our pleasure to pray for you, and I'm going to say a prayer right now. Heavenly Father, I ask you to reach down to wherever Melanie is right now. Touch her eye and heal it, Lord, or send her to where she needs to, to get help for it. Whichever way you choose to heal, we honor that, Lord, but we pray, O oh, Heavenly Father, your son died so that by his stripes we could be healed. So we pray for a healing, Almighty God. We pray for a healing right now for Melanie. In Jesus' precious and holy name, I pray. I plead the blood of Jesus over Melanie and over her eye, the eye socket, the eye optical nerve, and every part of it. Let the cells come together and heal the way they're supposed to. In Jesus' name, I pray for that. Now you try to remember you have one eye left. In the meanwhile, Jesus can heal that. Father, Jesus, Holy Spirit, our God can heal. Certainly, he does as he chooses. But you've got one left if he doesn't. You've got your life. You've got your voice. You're able to praise and worship. 
you're able to pray. Always remember, and I have to tell myself this too. My friend had to keep reminding me after I lost my dog because I was just a mess. And other people reminded me, think of the time, thank the Lord for the time you had with him. <coughs> Excuse me. And my friend reminds me to make a list of everything I have, which is wonderful. And it really helps when you're sad, thinking about your lost relationship with your child and anything else that makes you sad. I get down thinking, I want to go home. I want to go home so much and it isn't that I have a bad life here because I don't I don't need to go because it's horrible here I want to go because I love my Jesus and it's so hard to stay close always with him with so many distractions and I have distractions. Okay, here's our other prayer request. It's from Wanda, our sister Wanda Summers. She says, and this was four days ago. It's a different video. The one where the young lady had seen the vision of Jesus ahead of her, and she was crying. Wanting to be closer to Jesus. And she didn't like how far away he had become. Or was. However she worded it. Okay, she said, please pray as one of, I guess she means our, one of our special needs departments has 39 positive cases. I guess she means COVID. My daughter works there. The name of the place is the Witten Center in Clinton, South Carolina. Boy, that sounds familiar. And a few cases where I... I don't know, you left a word out, live or work, I'm not sure. And there's a few cases where she lives or works as well. Lawrence County, oh, it must be where she works. Lawrence County Special Needs and Disabilities Board. So I guess that would be the adults who have it. Many people have no problem with it. It's like a light flu or a bad cold. But there have been some that have really uh, almost died. And, of course, those with underlying health problems have. But they have greatly exaggerated the numbers. We know that for a fact because people are reporting it. ER doctors, nurses... Other people who, who uh, you could say put boots on the ground, went to these hospitals filming how empty the there was no lines waiting to get tested. There were no lines of people waiting to get checked into the ER. The ERs were empty. I mean, that's visual proof. Okay, so, um, that's our prayer requests for right now. I didn't, don't remember seeing any others. Um, let us all keep each other in prayer and pray that we may be counted worthy to escape 
all these things that are to come to pass. Because round two will be worse. And it'll cause people more panic and fear and to beg for the vaccine. And you do not want it. You do not want it. Okay? So I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. The internet connection, myself, my computer, and each and every one of you, and your devices, and your internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you later.